We are at a site in which the emerald ash borer has passed through here over the past several years, taking out almost every ash tree in the surrounding areas. You might ask, why are these trees so healthy? Why have they survived the emerald ash borer? Are they susceptible? They certainly are susceptible. And the reason they're still here, and in fact are in vigorous, great health, is because of the efforts of an arborist who in 2001, over a year before I found the emerald ash borer, began treating these trees because he saw insect injury on them. After I discovered the emerald ash borer, Mark Baldwin and associates continued the treatments on these trees and it has allowed them to not only recover from severe devastation, which we'll show you in a few minutes in some photographs from 2002, but now the trees have not only recovered, but have taken off in vigorous growth. So we have proof at this point, despite what many other people may say, that we can save ash trees from the emerald ash borer. I'd like to introduce you to Mark Baldwin, who manages the Homestead Estates here. And this is the major success story, the oldest site that we have for the emerald ash borer treatments. How are you doing today, Mark? Great, Dave. How are you? Good. Now, I'm just curious if you could tell us what, give us a little bit of background in a site, when the trees were installed, and you were the, actually probably the first person to treat ash trees for emerald ash borer. And just a really wonderful success story you have here. So you, can you tell us when the trees were installed and when you first began to notice problems with the tree? These trees were originally installed in June of 2000 uh, as part of a landscape project here. They're Champaign County white ash. They were approximately three inch caliper bald and burlap. When we put them in, uh, they were, they started to grow, they appeared to be healthy. Although the next season, they started to show some decline. Upon further inspection, we noticed some D-shaped exit holes in the trunks. And at that time, we treated them for what we thought was the redheaded ash borer. At that time, we used the wedgel system with a pointer insecticide, and we also deep root fed them with 1836 with mycorrhizae and essentials and a soil drench of merit insecticide. The next year in 2002, when you discovered the emerald ash borer, these trees had already recovered remarkably at that point. The leaves were dark green, they had put on new growth, the trees had also calloused over quite a bit by then. As you can see here, these trees were severely damaged with almost half of the cambium damaged around the circumference of the tree. Uh, the trees have been deep root fed several times. Uh, there's been no further infestation of emerald ash borer that we've noticed, and actually there's been several, several instances such as this as massive amounts of callus forming. As a matter of fact, this is one of the few trees here that you can still see open callus tissue on. Most of the trees have covered over now and totally healed. 